Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to find the volume of one solution that is needed to react with another solution for some desired product when you know the volume and the molarity of one of the solutions and only the molarity of the other solution and you want to find the volume of that other solution needed for the reaction. So this problem says that you want to precipitate lead iodide by fully reacting 0 0.200 liters of 0 0.550 molar potassium iodide with 0 0.400 molar lead nitrate. What volume in milliliters of the lead nitrate solution is needed? So the reaction that happens here would look like this. You'd have your lead nitrate and that would be in aqueous form because it's a solution reacting with your potassium iodide which is also in solution form to give you two um, and there should be two potassium iodides too to give you two potassium nitrates plus lead iodide solid, so there is a precipitate that forms for this particular reaction. So the next thing you want to be able to do to answer this question, because you want to know what volume of lead nitrate you're going to need, given the known concentration of the lead nitrate, to react fully with the known volume of potassium iodide and the known molarity of potassium iodide. So as always, when we're looking at a balanced chemical equation, you want to relate the two reactants, in this case, to each other using the reactant, reaction stoichiometry. So for every one mole of lead nitrate, you have two moles of potassium iodide. In order to relate through the mole-mole relationship, you need to get from molarity to moles. So you can do that for the potassium iodide because you know the volume and you know the molarity. So let's do that first. You have 0 0.200 liters of lead iodide, and you also know the molarity, so you can get to moles. Molarity is 0 0.550 moles of potassium iodide per liter of potassium iodide. So the liters of potassium iodide will cancel out here, and now you're left with moles of potassium iodide. You want to get to moles of lead nitrate because you ultimately want to determine what volume of lead nitrate is needed, and you do know the molarity of lead nitrate. So you convert first so you, from uh, moles of potassium iodide to moles of lead nitrate. So there are two moles of potassium iodide for every one mole of lead nitrate. So moles of potassium iodide will cancel out here and you're left with point, um, 0 0.055 moles of lead nitrate. Okay, so now that you know the moles of lead nitrate and then you also know the molarity of lead nitrate is 0 0.400 moles. Now you can find the volume of lead nitrate. So you have 0 0.055 moles of lead nitrate. And you're going to divide into that the molarity because you want moles on the bottom here in the denominator. So you have 0 0.400 moles of lead nitrate for every liter of lead nitrate. So that's the molarity of the solution. So moles of lead nitrate are going to cancel and you're left with liters. So you'll get 0.138 liters. And your answer should be in milliliters. So all you have to do is convert by saying for every liter you have 1,000 milliliters, and then what you're going to be left with is 138 milliliters of lead 
nitrate. So that's the answer to this question.